up guys bugler outdoors here so i got something cool so you know i do the thermal thing and we used to have the iray rico bravo but as you see there's no scope on there wonder how i'm gonna thermal hunt guess what i got We got the iRay MK2. This scope here is the Mac Daddy. Uh, you know, obviously the the 1200 is the Mac Daddy, but no one wants to pay 17 grand. We finally got this. Uh, probably one of the first people to get my hands on this, besides the Shot Show people. So I'm going to do an unboxing of it, put it on there, explain to you some of the things I like, some of the things I don't like, and you'll be able to be exclusively seeing the MK2. Here we go. So we're gonna open the box. Do it right here. All right, a little magnetic thingy there. Open up the box. And we got a case there and a little box. So we'll open a little box first, okay? In a little box, we got, one thing I'm hoping is, I'm hoping this thing comes with two batteries because well, good thing about it is I'm not even going to get into it. I'm going to get into it, but it's not right now. It doesn't use CR123s. It uses battery packs. But I hope there's two because they're expensive. But anyway, so open this up. All right, and the first thing we have in here, piece of plastic. All right, and it comes with a USB plug. It comes with your... USB cord. It comes with some kind of adapter. Don't know what the adapter's for. And it comes with your charging dock. Now I know that you're able to use this thing magnetically, but it doesn't come with a magnetic piece, but okay, so that's what's in here, okay? That is what is in this first box, all right? Now we'll get to the meat and potatoes. Let's get it going. I'm, am I'm like amped up, because like, I'm just amped up. All right, you got this case right here. All right, now I'm gonna open it up. Please be two batteries, please be two batteries. And let's see, give me a second. We got to be to see what's behind this. All right, so behind this, oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Man, all right. So this thing right here drops down, and there is your warranty, your booklet. And let's see what's in here. They give you... Heated zeroing, heated zeroing pads. Uh, cleaning pad for the lens. And yes, the magnetic, uh, the magnetic charging port. And I'll tell you why you need magnetic. It has a little magnetic thing on there. All right, we'll get to that. So you get all this stuff back in here. Sorry, I'm kind of sloppy. All right, it shows a battery right here. Please let there be a battery inside of it. So here's your battery. We'll get to that in a second. Here is the scope. And unless that's a battery cover, there's two batteries. Let's see. So first off, the MK2 comes with battery packs, okay? They're not CR123 batteries, which everyone hates. So we'll see, is this a cover or another battery? Let's see. Sorry, phone keeps going off, anyway. So basically it has a little magnetic thing here that kind of holds it, but if we 
twist and oh we got two batteries so it does come with two batteries okay so we'll put one down all right so battery goes in there i guess like like so and you twist it to lock it so you twist it like that and it has a little magnetic pretty cool all right so a couple things about this it's a 640 by i believe 512 okay so i used to have a rico bravo the rico bravo was 380 let me tell you something about ira dude this is why i stay with ira i got a buddy who's a pulsar fan pulsar is the jam tried and true man pulsar is there's nothing wrong with pulsar but but when it comes to side-by-side -side image I don't know if Ivory uses a better screen in here or what not they use, but their image is just more crisp. The re one of the reasons I upgraded from my Rico Bravo 384 to this MK2 640, two reasons. One, CR123 batteries. I hate it. I got to carry them all the time. And the thing about the CR123 batteries is sometimes the batteries will just, they'll just die. It'll stay full and they're dead. Whatever. It is what it is. I had a spare little charger I used to use, which I don't think I have here with me, but I have a spare USB thing I used to plug to it to keep it charged. Second thing, records audio. This thing records audio like an iPhone. I seen another review that somebody had from SHOT Show and it records like an iPhone. Okay? So the two things that this thing had that, three things, also has laser rangefinder you can see it right there okay so the re one, three of the reasons i upgraded the the main reason is the cr123 batteries um, i'm over to cr123 batteries man so this has the battery pack and it comes with two okay it has a laser rangefinder and it records audio that's three things that i wanted in my rico bravo that i couldn't get but when you first get into thermal i mean this scope right here was fifty five hundred dollars okay when you first get into thermal, you're not going to spend that. You're going to spend 3,500 bucks. It's really going to be at to have something good. Okay. 3,500 bucks is, is a starting point for good thermal. There's other brands that are whatever, but so let's get back to this. So the lens cap on this thing is pretty awesome because it has a spring activated flip. So when you hit it, it flips. See, and it has a magnetic thing here. It kind of, it locks in, all right? So when you take it, it has tension where it flips. So you're never gonna fire and it's gonna shut on you, so. And it locks in, so when you put it there, it locks in, okay? Awesome. That's that 50 field of view right there, 50 millimeter field of view, all right? And let's see what else we got here. So here is the charging port, like I was saying. So you can charge this thing, okay? with the USB, the first plug they gave you, or you, can plug, or you can plug this in and it becomes magnetic. So what I keep on my guns, I always keep, it's pretty much, I'll put a link in it, but it's a, it's a little battery pack that mounts on the side of my gun and it has a magnetic. So just say if the battery dies, where it's come to worst, pop it on and get another couple of hours of runtime, okay? So this here is a 60 Hertz, okay? Most of the other scopes now are 50 Hertz. This is a true 60 Hertz. The refresh rate is no joke. When you're scanning with these things, and I'm telling you because I've seen a video of someone I got when he's at SHOT Show who showed a video of coyote hunting. He's going, you know how you're chasing the animal and all of a sudden it stops and refreshes. Now this, you'll get the whole animal. The refresh rate is really fast on this. So it's not that much of a delay. There is a 10 second startup time on this though. So from when you turn it on, it goes 10 seconds to start it up. But you can press the standby mode, blacks out the screen, standby mode, puts it on again. These batteries are supposed to get seven to eight hours of time. So you have two batteries, you got about 14 to 15 hours of time. And I think that that is being easy. I think you can easily get 20, 20 hours, okay? The zoom on these things, okay, are a step zoom. So back in the, you know, the other IRA I had, you had to press a button and it would go from 3X to 4X to 5X 
I believe, to 6x, okay? Now with this, this is a base magnification of 3x, okay? 3x is the sweet spot for hunting. If you get like a 4x, you might be a little too close. It, it, things are just a little bit too close. You get a 2x, things are a little too far. You get a 3x, it's the sweet spot. So if you want the sweet spot, I live in Florida, I do hog hunting. The sweet spot for hog hunting in Florida is a 3x. All of my shots are usually from 30 to 80 yards, okay? So when I'm at 30 yards or 80 yards, I see them very clear. All right, so also with the step zoom, so you can go from, as you can see, it's, it's, oh, it's so nice. It's like good ball bearings in a, like in a, in a hub of a car, it's just, oh, it's so good. So you can go, instead of going from 3X to 4X to 6X, you can go from, you can go 3X to 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. You could zoom in slow increments. That's another reason that's sold in here, okay? The screen inside this thing is huge. I'm gonna do another video hunting with the actual video footage, but for now, it's just unboxing. I, like my wife just literally called me and said, hey, um, it's here. And I had a couple of guys on Facebook, you know who you are, telling me I was bull crap and saying I don't have one coming. Listen, man, I already was nice enough to have one in stock and I was nice enough to sell me one. So I have one, okay? Uh, I'm not saying I'm the first one to get one because I know all the other guys like, you know, Hans and Jason are probably getting theirs in at, uh, uh, outdoor Legacy and Feral Texas Outdoors, which is who I deal with all the time, but they, I already just happen to have it in stock, but uh, Feral Texas Outdoors, good place to order um, stuff from. Just check them out. And they just had it in stock, so I got it. And that's, that's just the bottom line to that. Uh, you have, it's just so much stuff on here. All the buttons are pretty easy and raised up. You have a Picatinny rail here. The buttons are real easy to use. And it does have dual throw lever mount. Now, I was questioning, do I need a fancy American uh, defense throw lever? Now, if you're going to swap this to different rifles, yes, because it's worth to keep zero. Now, for some reason, my Rico Bravo came with American defense. This one didn't. It just came with infrared, uh, whatever they use. But I'm going to real quickly try to get it mounted on here. If I could figure out how, there we go. You press the buttons and you open them and we'll get this on this bad boy right here. And we'll see just, that's really loose. So, I'd have to probably tighten that. I think there's a way to, oh, that's that screwdriver they gave you in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock this from moving. That little screwdriver I was showing you, I think that's to, that's to tighten that up. It is. This thing they give you, it's a little multi-tool used to tighten things up. So I'll see if I can get this tighter. So from what I see here, I guess you can... Well, that's not... Where do you tighten it from? I don't know what that's for. Actually, you could do it by hand. You actually tighten it by hand, which I'm going to... I don't know if I tightened it or loosened it, but there we go. All right, that's tight. I ain't going nowhere. So honestly, the way I tightened it, I just kind of pressed the buttons in and turned them by hand. I still don't know what the hell this is for. I still have no idea what this is for. <laughs> it's a miracle. I don't know what it's for. Whatever. So, we got it mounted, and they said the runtime is about 10 seconds. I'm actually gonna pull this closer to you guys. All right, they said the, the turn on time is about 10 seconds. So I'm holding it down now. 
One, two, three, four. No, nah, four seconds. It's going into startup mode, and man, this thing has a huge screen, man. The screen on this thing is huge, man. I wish you guys could see it. The screen on this thing is huge, man. It is huge. But it has a startup mode where you gotta set it up, which I will probably set up when I have some time. Anyway, so, hope I didn't bore you. This is a scope, you see me using it. It has, like I said, it has that magnetic right here. And what I normally use, let me go get it real fast. I normally use this right here. It just mounts on the pick rail, all right, and you have extra power. So in this situation, I don't know where I would mount this one. I'd probably mount it somewhere on the bottom or somewhere over here. I'm not sure where I'm gonna mount this. I don't even think I could mount this on here, honestly. I mean, I probably won't even need this because you get 10 hours. But if I wanted to mount it, I could actually, I could mount it. What I could do is I could just take this and mount it right over here. All right, and then I could tighten that up. There you go. Now what I have here is I have external power so if something were to happen, I have this here, and then I could just uh, put the magnetic. This is this is not the one for mine. This is actually the one for, for my Rico Bravo. But I could put that on there. What I'll do is I'm going to grab the other one for you. All right, so we'll come back here. All right, so this is the one that comes for the Rico. So normally what I do is I just kind of put the USB there, as you can see, okay? And then this goes right on there and someone is firing guns like a crazy ass outside. But um, that goes right on there. And I got this actually, and you can see it's, it's charged up. I got this unit from Texas Piggin Products, which is actually uh, Gear of the Hunt, I believe it's called. Uh, check them out. They have a lot of stuff. I don't think I'm going to actually need that because of, you know, the great, you know, almost 10 hours of time on this thing. So for now, I'm just going to take this off. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need this. But, so this is pretty much, I got it from Texas Piggin Products or Gear of the Hunt. It's a little power bank. And with my Rico Bravo, it would die sometimes, so this thing would charge it right up. But anyway, so for those of you who are asking what I got going on here, uh, what I have is a custom 6.5 Grindle, okay? All Magpul stuff on it. Obviously, we have the, the IRA MK2. Uh, we have a Dead Air Nomad Titanium, Dead Air Nomad Titanium Suppressor with the Armageddon sleeve on it. We have a Bog Death Grip here with the ball head conversion. There will be a link to the ball head conversion in the bottom of the video in case you want to do that. But that's a quick overview of this scope right here. I uh, hope you guys liked it. And for those of you who were saying I don't have it, I got it. It's right here. Any questions, let me know. I'm going to do a more in-depth video of actually using it, but that's pretty much it for now. It has two throw levers, 640 by 512, two batteries, 10-hour runtime, 60 megahertz uh, refresh rate. Damn thing is good. Hope you liked the video. I'll have another video coming up. Me using this thing. Out.